Victor Barnes now with a look at the latest developments in Hillary Clinton's bid for the White House. Well, this morning in New Hampshire, Bernie Sanders is expected to finally suspend his campaign for president and endorse Hillary Clinton for the nomination, which she won weeks ago. Until now, Sanders has resisted endorsing Clinton, instead continuing his campaign as leverage to win concessions on his progressive agenda and reforms to the Democratic Party's nominating process. And he's gotten some of that in the meeting of the Democrats' platform committee, which wrapped up its work in Orlando last week. For example, Sanders got support in the platform for a $15 an hour federal minimum wage. Clinton had supported $12 an hour. And Clinton announced this weekend support for other Sanders priorities, such as a government-run public option in health insurance, a step toward universal health coverage, and more funding for rural health centers. But he hasn't gotten everything he wants. For example, Clinton has not fully embraced Sanders' proposal for free college education for everyone. She would limit, limit government assistance to families that make less than $125,000 a year. The Democratic Convention in Philadelphia is in two weeks from now. Back to you in New York. All right. Thank you, Peter and Fox.